welcome back everyone. You're watching All The Beer No Idea. I'm Baz. What we've got coming up for you now is a brand new keg for the Heineken Blade. It was only released on Tuesday, uh, if I remember rightly. It was Tuesday. Uh, I put a video up yesterday. There was actually two new kegs released Tuesday. Uh, I picked them both up. I've done a video yesterday. If you've seen it, you're going to have some rough idea what they are. If you haven't seen that, you're going to find out what it is now. So uh, what we've got coming up for the Heineken Blade it's from Brixton Brewery, and this is a keg of their low voltage session IPA coming in at 4.3%, 8 litre keg. We'll go over the price and that uh, in a bit, but what I'm going to do now, do a video of the pour, go over there, come back, and we'll take the review from there. So, back in the tick. So we're back, you saw the pour. That was the very first pour out of this cake. So the line was dry, always creates a bit more head as well. But beer in a glass, there we go. A few little bubbles on there, but not too many, I hope. Uh, yeah, beer in a glass. Hazy orange amber color. Uh, plenty of carbonation going up there, plenty of carbonation. Three, three finger of compact white creamy head, if you like. Uh, so yeah, looks good. Uh, now, I've never had anything from Brixton, so this is a first uh, a first for me. Uh, I picked this up from Beer Wolf. Uh, they also released another one. And this keg, these aren't cheap. Uh, they're unpasteurized and that, so I don't think the life on them is as good and they need to be drunk as fresh as possible, really. <clears throat> uh, the price of this was 49 99 I did get a little bit knocked off it uh, because I had a credit sort of no discount code if you like so I, I ended up getting it for 44 quid is a bit cheaper still quite expensive I think but the unpasteurized side of things and being craft is probably going to bump the price up but uh, but yeah I thought I'd give it a go and here we are so uh, yeah let's get on with it so beer in a glass ironically enough I'm not a big session IPA fan so it should be quite interesting so as I said beer in a glass Decent carbonation, hazy orange amber colour, three finger heads now gone down to two. Uh, so we'll dive in on the nose and see what we get. Oh, big. Uh, it reminds me of Club Tropicana straight away on the nose. Real big, punchy, juicy flavours. Nice, hoppy aroma. Smells real fresh as well. And on the keg, actually, it was kegged on the 17th of June. Uh, six months date on this so it's, it, it's best before is the 17th of December this year so uh, yeah smells really good uh, yeah hoppy juicy tropical and that's about it really say that's about it it's tropical you could put 100 flavors well, you put a lot of flavors in there anyway can you so let's shut the fuck up and uh, get on with this so cheers everybody In all fairness, in all fairness, that is decent. Uh, it's going to be quite a simple review. Exactly on the nose is in the taste. Decent body to it. I think the head's helping that. Uh, like I say, it's the first glass out of the machine. Gentle carbonation, almost non-existent, then just comes to life a little bit on the back end. Mouthfeel is okay, it's not, you know, it's not bad. Taste-wise, piney, tropical, juicy, hoppy. Very, very gentle bitterness in there. 4.3%. Uh, you're not really getting that, in all honesty. But then are you going to get 4.3% anyway? Uh, 
but it does feel like it's got a bit, it's that, that, that little bit of bitterness in there does make it feel like, you know, that could quite easily be high end of the fours, quite easy. Very decent to be fair. Uh, how can I put it? That, some of these three pound cans from Tesco's and Morrison's, the really good IPAs, this could be mistaken for one of them and not say the little 332 pound cans. I don't know, there's just something, it's got that little bit extra to it, this. Uh, really refreshing uh, and yeah it's nice it's nice it's actually surprised me excuse me uh, I was dreading getting it at eight liters with a session IPA because as I've said it's not not the most favorite style of mine but this is decent that body that taste and everything doesn't make it feel like a session IPA uh, and for me that's a winner is it worth it it's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. But it is a very decent beer in all fairness. So uh, for me, I uh, forgot what it was. Brixton Low Voltage Session IPA coming in at 4.3% on the Heineken Blade. Very good, very good. Uh, yeah, the nearest thing I would, I could, the, off the top of my head, I would say if you like tr Club Tropicana, you're gonna like this. Uh, and it's maybe even got a bit more to it than Club Tropicana. Uh, and that's five and a half percent so th there's a big difference in the percentage really so uh yeah for me it's a winner uh if you've had it before let me know what you think uh go and pick yourself one up from beer wolf uh if you're willing to spend that money uh and that's it for this video like and share if you want to subscribe to the channel hope you've enjoyed it as well i hope i've not waffled on too much but i probably have uh and uh yeah feel free to subscribe as well if you want and i'll see you again on another beer review very soon cheers